This is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. This is the uh, $9.99 jewelry jar or vase, I guess, because it didn't doesn't have a lid. But anyway, it was taped shut um, from my uh, lo local Salvation Army thrift shop. And I'm going to pour a little bit out and we'll get into what's in this jar. Um, so... Right off the top. Uh, what attracted me to the jar were the uh, tiger's eye and the rhinestones in it um, because I'm looking for rhinestone pieces for um, repair and uh, and uh, reuse, I guess, so to speak. So first off is a rhinestone ring. And nice sparkly and no uh, rhinestones missing. So there's a, a lovely little piece. Um, next, a little bit of a tangle, but next we have a plastic rhinestone um, bracelet in uh, a metal setting. The metal's starting to wear. It's a stretchy. And none of the rhinestones are missing. There's um, silver tone balls between each of the settings. So even though it's uh, acrylic or, and got a little bit of wear, um, certainly those uh, would be would be great for repurposing. But also a nice costume bling if you were, um, you know, doing princes and princess kind of stuff. Lots of uh, use to be made for that bracelet. Uh, here's a gold tone bangle with seams. No maker's mark or anything special just a uh, gold tone bangle I'll keep the silver uh, the single earrings till I find their matches here's a stretchy bracelet metal balls silver tone again those parts can all be repurposed here's another stretchy bracelet this is from it's, or sir, I don't know if you, if you can see that. It says Rocking Vibe. I'm not sure if that's a brand. And it's got a, a shape on this hang tag. Um, looks like something was broken off here. So I would probably take that little whatever it is off. Maybe there was a tassel there. Uh, maybe put another little pink dangle that would coordinate. Here's a piece of uh, Howlite. And, uh, um, yeah, probably another piece of highlight. These are some cold uh, glass beads. Um, nice, bright uh, colors. Piece of mother of pearl. So that can be um, easily fixed up and, uh, and then reused. Um, I have a few tangles in here. So let me uh, just see what I can find. Here's a ring. Uh, just a costume ring, gold tone, um, nice peridot color stone in the center, um, about a seven and a half. I'm surprised it fits me. Usually rings aren't quite big enough. I need that extra half. So there's a second ring to go with the stretchy rhinestone ring, which I know fits me. Um, oh, I thought maybe this was an earring, but it's not. Let me get it untangled from all the other things that... Okay, this is odd. All right, so here is a really nice orange necklace. Lightweight, plastic, though, yeah, acrylic beads. Lightweight metal with a, a tassel that's a little tangled. There we go. So there's the tassel, there's the beads. I always like these sparkly ones with the Aurora Borealis coating. These are a uh, nice uh, checkerboard texture. Lightweight chain. And I have no idea why it has a lobster claw clasp because it's, I have no idea why it's got a lobster claw clasp. That could easily be taken off. I mean, it's just kind of thing you could put over your head to wear. So a, a pretty necklace, uh, lightweight, very wearable. i put it off to the side. Um, Oh, okay, got some earrings falling out here. Okay, so this doesn't match, but it's sort of similar in uh, design. Here's a pair of rose gold or copper 
I, can, I have a hard time telling the difference between them um, with the you know with the faux rose gold faux copper uh, coloring. So there's a pair of earrings, leaf design earrings on uh, fish hook ear wires. They've got this uh, metal uh, with glitter in behind for so those would be give lots of movement and glitter as you're wearing them. So there's one pair of earrings, and then in silver tone we have a leaf necklace. It's a little uh, discolored from rubbing of the leaves, but there's three leaves and this lovely um, rhinestone. I'm not sure if it's glass or not. Silver tone necklace up to a lobster claw clasp and an extender. So again, a very pretty wearable um, leaf necklace. So two necklaces, four bracelets, two rings, a pair of earrings. What's going to come out of the tangle next? Okay, a, a, a seaside or seashell themed bracelet with uh, rhinestones on a, a scallop shell, uh, sea stars, plain scallop shells, um, and pearls. Gold tone. Relatively lightweight, but, but heavy enough that it's going to make some nice noise. If you hear that jingle when you're wearing it, lobster claw clasp. Nothing wrong with that. So there's our fifth bracelet of the day. And here comes a uh, the bracelet that's caught up in everything. There we go. Okay, so here is a... Whoops, sorry. I'm Moving the camera. I'm so excited to see all this stuff. So here's an arrow wrap around bracelet. Uh, lightweight, no name, no markings, but in excellent condition. It's not chipped or worn, so that's perfectly wearable. So lots of bracelets piling up there today. Here's another bracelet. Oh, this is kind of neat. Um, let's see if I can redo the. There's the light. Um, how light? Though this. I'm wondering if that stone doesn't really look like how light it doesn't have I don't know what it is it but it's probably just uh, died anyway it looks very nice um, a bunch of chain and charms with a couple little glass balls um, nice stretchy very wearable um, probably a piece of rose quartz a little silver tone charm a little silver heart another little silver tone charm so no no maker that I can see but uh, very wearable nice piece of jewelry well look at the bracelets piling up there um, another ring okay so this is uh, an adjustable ring look, looks like it was stuck on something or stuck to a piece of cardboard no uh, makers mark inside how light center um, nice domed uh, shape, so very wearable uh, ring. Lots a lot of rings to be getting in a in a, a jar. Here's another one. Uh, how light again, adjustable. So just uh, you know, fashion wear them till they're worn out kind of rings, um, but a different how light design. Again, nice dome style, adjustable, um, very wearable four rings one pair of earrings oh though I see some more earrings in the future but let's do this this is a stretched out uh, set of glass faux pearls with one really wonky pearl here um, I think they're glass I am they feel like glass they don't they're too cold to be regular pearls and they're yeah they're losing their paint off the ends here so there's some um, a bracelet to repurpose. Take the pearls, use them for something else. Another ring. Another again dyed howlite. Um, yet a different setting. So we've got three of these style of rings so far. I'm gonna line them up here. This is quite a collection. I'm gonna. Ha looks like there'll be a ring for every day of the week. Here's a couple more. So here's uh, one with a sort of a flat uh, rather than shiny. Uh, silver tone um, setting but it is adjustable 
a little stiffer than the other. So there's number four. Doesn't look like how light it feels more like glass in the center. There's another how light one with that shiny um, antiqued metal design, rectangular shape. And we've got five similar rings so far. Let's put them to the side and I see a, a bunch of stuff that's got its own theme and uh, um, yeah, I got a tangle here. I was gonna say this is a tangled mess but it's actually not. There's just one thing that wants to party with this. So let me get that off. It's a little uh, necklace with a cherry colored rhinestone. So somehow it's gotten tangled in there. Liz, am I got it off? Okay. So let's see, this is a lobster claw clasp. There's uh, no markings on that little uh, disc. Sometimes it says uh, a country of origin, but not this time. Let's see if it'll pull apart now that I've opened it up. There we go. It's coming slowly. right to the very last centimeter. So a pretty little cherry colored rhinestone, very nice, lots of shine, very wearable little necklace. I think I have another one similar to this that I found. Just, you know, fashion jewelry kind of thing. If you wore it and lost it, you wouldn't worry. But this is what I was trying to get at. Look at these owls. Three owls in one necklace. So all you owls lovers out there, we've got flowers and owls. Owls and flowers. Flowers for hours of owls. No, owl, <laughs> sorry, a little punchy here tonight. Um, this lovely sort of uh, brass tone with the antiquing. Uh, all of owl head, uh, owl eyes, beautiful turquoise colored rhinestones, and an owl sitting on a branch surrounded by pearls. So that's um, a really fun necklace. Lobster claw clasp. Um, no maker's mark. The back is in great shape. Um, very wearable. Lovely thing to find in a jewelry jar. So three necklaces, or four necklaces so far. And then you just saw my arm in all its glory. Okay, here's another stretchy bracelet lightweight pearls just knotted together um they're just light 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 lightweight plastic they're lightly slightly different color than these white ones these are just more of an ivory these are white um, both good for repurposing we'll add those to the bracelets pile oh i thought this might have been a bracelet but you can see there's um oh I've forgotten that kind of knot. That anyway, it's a knot we use all the time in uh, macrame, and it just attaches the chain. The chain loops through itself, and there's chain on one side with the six silver tone links, and chain on the other side, and uh, you have a nice sort of uh, not a, exactly a a collar, but a little slightly slightly longer, but Good uh, hefty weight, um, nice shiny silver tone necklace. So one more necklace. This this jar just keeps giving and giving. Okay, here's a, a contemporary piece. There's the back, the sort of antiqued bronze. On the front says, "Not my circus, not my monkeys." So this is. Uh, I understand this is a, an Eastern European saying translated to English that's become very popular. So uh, uh, the idea being that you're just going to step away from that situation and not get involved because it's not your circus and those are not your monkeys. <laughs> I love it. So uh, I'm sure somebody out there will like it. I think I need the, the, to clean the chain. The chain is a little sticky so it just needs a little wash. Um, uh, another ring um, 
looks like a set of antlers. Is that what it looks like to you? Um, I don't know the the meaning of this. I get like I, if you know where that symbol comes from, looks like um, I don't know. It reminds me of the show The Magicians for some reason. Um, <laughs> it's not adjustable. Uh, no markings on it, but yet another ring. So that's a lot of rings for a jewelry jar. Um, I have a couple more tangled pieces. Oh, another owl piece. So owl piece number two. Look at this pair of owls with the rhinestones. These are blingy, be blingy owls. There you go. Or maybe I can bring them closer. Let's see, no rhinestones missing that I can tell. Nice uh, uh, sort of uh, steel colored, the darkened silver tone. Modern piece with uh, lobster claw clasp, no markings, but not not too lightweight. It's um, these these owls are going to stick together and hold up with a lot of wear. Oh, another necklace. And two owl pieces in one jar. That's um, that's unusual. Okay, now a watch. This is a Timex Indiglo watch, 30 meter water resistance with a date. I bet if I add a, a what's it called? A battery. If I add a battery, I might have a new watch. My um, I have a watch I love. It's a a bracelet watch uh, that like. Uh, and unfortunately, the um, I've worn it so much that now the battery runs for 15 minutes and then stops. So it never tells me the right time. This has got a, quite a scratched face, but if uh, uh, if it runs, I might uh, try to wear it. Though it looks a little tiny in terms of the bracelet itself. Bracelet work. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe not. Bracelet doesn't clamp together. Okay, so that's not going to work for me. But only one watch. That's not bad. Here's a piece that I saw. I love Tiger's Eye. You've heard, I've heard me say that before. This seems like it would have been stretchy, but it's either all, like it fits on me that way, and then it's loose. So... I don't know if the the stretch is all gone. Anyway, beautiful, shiny, ra um, rectangular, and round tiger's eye beads. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So either I restring this and wear it as it is, or I make it into something else. But a beautiful tiger's eye bracelet. Worth the price of the jar as far as I'm concerned. And I got owls to go and rings. Now look at these. These are cool. They're a gorgeous color. They're kind of a cool shape. They're acrylic, obviously. Um, faceted, big, stretchy beads. That's what they look like. If you want to go out and make noise at a party, there you just put one on each wrist. You could clack them together and get a little silly. Um, I'm surprised that. The jar is so full when you've got two of these in there, but there's another two bracelets. And look, the jar is still half full. Like, this is a good jar. Um, oh, another ring. Um, if you're playing Pirates of the Caribbean, there's a, an anchor ring. I like the... Um, the setting of the ring. I don't really like the anchor in there. I'd put a flashy stone in and wear it as a costume ring. But one more ring. This is, can't get over the number of rings we're seeing here. Um, oh, here's a bead, a glass, yeah, a glass bead. Is it? It's hard to tell. No, I think it's plastic. Um, a bead that was on something that broke. But that's a pretty little bead. It's got some Aurora Borealis in the back and some uh, clear blue shininess in the front. So I'll have to make a pile for beads. Put it back there. Um, 
Okay, some pieces falling apart. Here's um, another rhinestone bracelet. This one's got some verdigris on it, so it's going to have to be isolated. Put in, uh, in isolation. It's missing a rhinestone there. There was a looks like hot melt glue in there. Somebody tried to keep it together. Um, I have probably have plenty of rhinestones to repair this, but I'll have to get rid of the verdigris first. So I'm going to just set this off away from everything else. See what else I can find. Oh, more bracelets. Let me just keep pulling them out here because they're all kind of together in the same area. I can't believe the number of bracelets. Look at this. Okay, so a rhinestone bracelet, cup chain, uh, nothing missing. Very usable. Another metal balls one matches uh, matches this one. So got two of a kind there. Another pearl one. Still got all its um, stretch. And again, it, more of that ivory colored pearl. So these two could be worn together. And actually here's a third one. So there's one the one white pearls and here's three sort of ivory colored pearls. These could be worn um, as a great set of three or um, repurposed. This one's not as nice because of the elastic sticking out. Oh, that one is too. But anyway, good, lots of pearls for repurposing. Here's a, well, I feel cold. Let me just see. Do I have some glass? Yep. So these are black glass, flat, faceted beads. I was trying to say flat oval and faceted at the same time. So if you wonder where the word flaccid comes from, it refers to these flat, faceted ovals. <laughs> Again, uh, I don't like the fact that there's always this uh, not showing, but a nice set of beads could be uh, given a slightly different closure or uh, repurposed. Here's some pink cup chain. What a pretty pink color. Really sparkly. No maker's mark, but those are really, these are great to repurpose. You can take the elastic out and then Join these to necklaces that are too short, vintage necklaces that have rhinestones. Um, all kinds of things you can do with those. Um, another um, similar flat faceted bracelet. This one has some kind of a dangle on it. Look at how it's sparkling in the background there. That's pretty cool. Heavy, a little heavier because of this piece of metal, and I can't really read it if I. Thomas Sabo Charm Club. Thomas Sabo Charm Club. S-A-B-O. I'll have to look that up. Thomas Sabo Charm Club. Um, I guess the charm would dangle from there. So I don't know what this is made of. I mean, it doesn't look like 925, but I can't really see inside. Oh, wait a minute. I said it doesn't really look like 925, but right here I'm pretty sure there we go we get the zoomer in or to zoomer in on that you see that I think well no my camera thinks I'm incompetent which uh, right now it's the way I feel that looks like a 925 to me um, yeah I just can't seem to get it very clear in the a clear picture on the camera. I'm not sure why. It just looks... Let me see if I zoom down and if try to just put it closer. Will it focus better? There we go. So that's 925. So a piece of silver uh, on this. So that's... I'm not sure what to do with that. Um, oh, a little plastic stretchy bracelet almost stretched out um, it looks like it was well loved because the plastic finish has worn off a lot of the beads so I'll put this in with my kids uh, kids beads for when we're doing kids jewelry oh here's something different look at this now this is this is I haven't seen anything like this before look this is quite a pretty idea it's rings so I think that's silver tone rings 
and then they have just a plastic faceted, a flat faceted stone. <laughs> I'm going to regret ever saying faceted. Um, but that's a really nice center for a necklace. The chain is darkened where it's been worn around the neck. and It's got a little, it's just a, oh, oh, this is weird again. This is like that other one, that, that orange one has one lobster claw, but it's, like the necklace doesn't need a lobster claw. Like there's, it's not multi-chain or anything, unless somebody took pieces apart. And uh, I don't know why they have these lobster claws on there. If you know, let me know, because sometimes I just feel like I'm missing the point with these things when you don't know why they're made the way they are. But I like this little centerpiece. I might clean it up and reuse it with something else. Just shine up that silver stuff. Um, see how well it shines up it doesn't it's not marked I don't have my little kind of shines with my finger though so a little bit all right well we'll see that's kind of interesting a lot of necklaces a lot of pieces in here now here is one vintage piece that I saw that when I'm making a decision to buy a jar First of all, it has to have, doesn't, I, I can't stand anything that's got uh, Mardi Gras beads, cheap plastic beads, 12 million thin sim, single bangles. I look for vintage, I look for rhinestones, beads, or, you know, real stone beads, even if they're um, howlite that can be reused. Here is a vintage brooch. Um, nice smooth back, the pin's there, it just needs a little cleaning. The rhinestones are either very dirty or starting to yellow. Um, I'm going to try, like it looks like dirt down in there, so I'm going to try giving this a wash. And um, regardless what you may have heard, rhinestones can be washed with water. Water is what um, is used, is one of the ingredients involved in the plating, the metal plating. Um, so that's not going to harm the rhinestones. Now, if the water sits behind the setting, if it doesn't dry out, um, then it could interfere with the foil on the back of the rhinestone. But the idea is you put it under a heat lamp or you blow it with a, a low heat of a hair dryer till it's all dry. And this just feels grimy. I'm hoping it'll wash up nicely because it's a very pretty little rhinestone pin, a very nicely designed flower that there so that's the only pin so far another whoops see our treasures another bracelet now this is unusual I've never seen something like it's almost like it's a kind of metal that's been taken and soldered together it's rigid but what a neat design this chevron design and the way it's each section is looped together and then there's a spine of wire running around the outside or around this along the center. Very interesting. I wonder how that'll uh, shine up. It's not bad color the way it is. It's kind of that um, oh gunmetal sort of without the bluish tinge to it. But um, I wonder how that'll shine up. Another bracelet. Can't believe it. Oh. Here, another bracelet. I can't believe it. Um, a Halloween bracelet. Just uh, plastic, but in excellent condition. Uh, three stretchy bands. Um, if you collect these kind of things, let me know. It might be something I could send to you. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I think we have a few more bracelets. I'm going to try to pull some more stuff out. Okay. So, I'm back. More um, stretchy pearl bracelets. This one is uh, the white rather than the ivory. So if these two, if this one that's overstretched could be uh, repaired, there would be a pair of pearl bracelets. This is um, plastic pearls and the metal beads. So I don't know if... Uh, this was meant to be a set like that or not. But certainly that's one of the ways you could pair these up. 
or triple these up. That would look quite nice, I think. Okay, and this is a faux pearl uh, necklace in very bad shape. You can see that the pearls are all peeling. So um, sometimes these under the pearls there's a nice sort of moon, gla moon glow glass but these are very lightweight so I think they're just plastic but I see something on the clasp here now I'm surprised where's my camera to get this clasp in there okay I just uh, you know how when you look in the mirror and you can't always see can you see the word sterling there if I go this way might be able to see it. So the word sterling on the clasp, and yet I guess it's a nice clasp. I'll have to, to test it, but uh, lower quality pearls. So I'm going to investigate what's under these. It might be worth just uh, cleaning off all the paint and uh, doing something with the plain plastic beads. I don't think there's any pearls that are salvageable they all seem to be yeah even as I run my fingers on them they're dripping uh, little flakes of that uh, brownie pearl paint hey but a sterling silver clasp so that's a surprise it's kind of like you don't expect sterling um, when the pearls are deteriorating that much but who knows why they were put together <laughs>